Hello, my name is Ahmed Azigit. I'm a fifth year medical student at the University of Nicosia. Can I quickly confirm your name and date of birth, please? Ian McCroy, 23rd of May, 1946. And how would you like to be addressed? Is Ian okay? Yeah, that's great. All right, Ian. Today I've been asked by my supervisor to perform a lower limb neurological examination. Mm -hmm. Is that something you've had done before? Or? Never, never. Okay, never. so essentially it is an examination of your legs and we'll check um, sensation, reflexes, and movements across okay. your legs. Does mm -hmm. that sound okay? Yeah. And due to the nature of this examination, it requires that we have exposure, full exposure of your legs, mm -hmm. which we already do, so okay. you're fine. <laughs> are you happy to proceed? Yes, please. Okay, before we proceed, are you in any pain at the moment? No, definitely not. And would you like a chat from during this examination? No, sure. Okay, perfect. Um, with any clinical examination, one of the most important things is to observe the patient and the surrounds. Observation can give you a lot of tips and clues about the patient which you may not be able to elicit during the examination itself. So we'll begin with inspecting the patient's surrounds and then the patient's. In this scenario, we'll look for any wheelchairs, walking aids, walking frames in general, or any other medical devices or medication that might suggest an ongoing problem and we have nothing to report. And we'll be inspecting the patient. Since this examination is a lower limb neurological examination, we'll be inspecting the patient's legs. We'll be specifically screening for any muscle wasting, muscle hypertrophy, fasciculations, any involuntary movements, um, any tremors, and scars. I see one scar over here on the left leg, mm -hmm. upper left leg. And we also look for any discolorations or skin changes that might suggest an ongoing problem with the patient. Okay, so before we get started with the actual examination, I would like you to walk towards the door for me. Okay. And as you go over there, just turn around. Okay. And walk on your toes. Excellent. And walk on your heels. Mm -hmm. And can you walk heel to toe like this for me, please? Okay. Perfect. Fantastic. Okay, you can sit down. Okay. okay, we just assessed the gait of the patient and we wanted to see if there are any pathological aspects of the gait, which we don't see any evidence of that at this point. You have to comment on the negatives and the positives. You see something, or if you don't see something, you have to comment on these things. Okay, so we'll begin with the actual examination. For this examination, you need to be lying flat, okay. and we will examine your legs. We approach the patient from the right-hand side, and what we're gonna do is, we're gonna begin with assessing the tone of the legs. Okay, so first of all, I will go ahead and just start with the right leg. Just go floppy, just relax, okay? Let your limbs mm -hmm. go floppy. Start with slow movements and just go up to bigger movements. Perfect. Okay, and then again, we'll start with one of the legs. Let your leg go floppy. Just let your leg go floppy, perfect. Perfect, is there any pain or no any problems, problems so far? Perfect. No, thank you. So this is uh, assessing the tone of uh, the lower limbs. Next thing on our agenda is assessing the muscle power. Ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we start at the hip and then we go down to the level of the toes. So with the hip, first of all, I would like you to raise your right leg for me. Mm -hmm. Just um, straight. Straight, uh -huh. okay. And then resist my movement. Perfect. And then we repeat the, with the other leg. Just resist my movement. Perfect. Now I'm going to bend your leg. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And don't let me bend it any further. Okay. And don't let me straighten it. Perfect. We'll do it with the left. Don't let me bend it any further. And don't let me straighten it. Excellent. Okay. Now, we're moving down to the ankles. 
if you can pull up your toes towards your head, okay? Don't let me push it down. Mm -hmm. And on this hand as well, on this foot as well, don't let me push it down. Okay. And if you, if you can just point your toes towards the wall, excellent. Don't let me push them up. Don't let me push them up. Excellent. And I see symmetrical power in both limbs at this point. So far, we have no abnormalities to report. Okay, now can you point your big toe, mm -hmm. right foot, big toe, towards your head? And don't let me push it down. And this, again, on the left hand, don't let me push it down. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Excellent. Now this um, finalizes our power assessment. Next, we're moving on to assessing sensation over the legs. Sensation over the legs is assessed by um, using a cotton ball and using a neuro tip. And we'll also, in the sensation examination, we have what we call proprioception, which is sense of orientation. And that will be done by moving your finger up and down and asking you which direction I'm moving your finger. Okay. Does that sound okay? Yeah. yeah. Alright, perfect. So we'll start out with a cotton ball. This is what a cotton ball feels like. Mm -hmm. Are you happy? Yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test your light touch by uh, putting this uh, light uh, cotton ball on your dermatomes, on your different dermatomes, on your right leg and the left leg. Okay. So close your eyes mm -hmm. and say yes when you feel it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we start at the level of L2. Yeah. 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 Yes. 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 So we start at the level of L2 and check all the dermatomes up to S1. Same here. Say when you feel it. Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 Perfect. Now, normally I would repeat this with a neuro tip but you're usually not required to perform a neurotic examination during the OSCEs. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to bend your big toe up or down mm -hmm. and ask you which direction I'm bending it. Mm -hmm. This is up, this is down. Okay. Okay? Up, down, down. Excellent. We're going to repeat the same thing on the other leg. Okay. This is up. This is down. Mm -hmm. Okay. Up. Down. Down. Excellent. Okay. And after sensation, we have coordination to test. To check coordination, I'm going to ask you to lift up your right leg. Mm -hmm and put your heel, right foot heel, on top of the knee on the left leg. And just glide it through, slide it through, and then lift it up again and repeat the same thing. Uh -huh. and up and repeat. Up and repeat. Perfect. And then we're going to do this with the other leg as well. Now, left foot heel should go on yes. the right knee. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then slide it down, up, and repeat. Don't have to lift it that high, but mm -hmm. just go up and repeat without resting your foot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent. Next thing in terms of coordination is to assess coordination of toes. I would like you to touch my finger with your toe. Okay. Okay. Perfect. And now with the other foot. Excellent. Perfect. The last thing we're going to perform is to te check the reflexes. We have three reflexes to check. The knee reflex, the ankle reflex, and the plantar reflex. And for the reflexes, we're going to use our hammer. So for the right, I'll just bear the weight of your foot and just gently tap to elicit the reflex. And we'll do it with the other foot. 
um, just rest your foot, rest your leg on my mm -hmm. hand, and we'll just elicit the reflex for that. And for the second reflex, we're going to bend the knee a little bit, and then rotate your leg outwards. Perfect. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hold your foot like this, and hit on, tap on the Achilles tendon. Perfect. And repeat the same thing over here. I'm just going to bend it, mm -hmm. rotate it, and elicit the reflex. And finally, our third reflex is the plantar reflex. And what we do here is we start laterally and move up and go across to elicit what we call the Bobinski. And this is what you should be seeing. This is a plantar flexion of the foot when you elicit Bobinski. So today, I've performed a lower limb neurological examination on Ian, a 73-year-old male. We haven't seen any abnormal um, findings. We haven't found any abnormal findings in this examination. To complete this examination, I would also perform a upper limb neurological examination, a vascular examination, and a cranial nerve examination. Thank you.